My name is Johnny Byrne. I'm the founder and chief sound designer of Wave Studios. We've been going 23 years, and in that time, we've worked on a variety of commercials, pop promos, all sorts of online streaming content, and feature films. The first film that I did start to finish and completed as a sound supervisor was a 2013 Jonathan Glazer movie, Under the Skin. We worked on The Lobster, Yorgos Lanthimos, The Killing of a Sacred Deer, his next film, Waves by Trey Edward Schultz, Ammonite, and we worked on The Favourite in 2018. We've had some great feature film projects this year. The Zone of Interest that won the Grand Prix Prize at Cannes. Four Things that won the Golden Lion at the Venice Film Festival. And last year we completed Nope, which was Jordan Peele's Universal Studios horror epic. We have eight studios in London, three in Amsterdam, and three and the Dolby Atmos room being built in New York. And they all run Nuendo. Wave Studios was founded on commercials. Our first job was a commercial for Guinness. It was a surfer. That was directed by a guy called Jonathan Glazer, who's a fantastic film director. About three years after we opened, he said to me, Johnny, you need to figure out everything you need to know about working on feature films, because I've got a film coming up and you're going to be doing it. And I thought, great. And at the time we were working on Fairlight Systems and I thought, okay, 48 tracks, probably not going to be enough for a film. Need to find something else. And there we were, I found Nuendo 2. It's better for long format work and the enormously high track count. It's just fantastic. So what came to pass is over the period of a few years, we then phased the old system out and put Nuendo in everywhere across the world. So the, the way I like to work is to go and record as much natural sound as possible from locations that either are exactly right or as near as correct as possible. And then use that sound that essentially is kind of documentary sound, but to try and make it cinematic which is sort of coming at from a different angle to finding the most kind of perhaps dramatic sound that already have a sense of sort of cinema and heightened presence in them. It, it's more to take natural sound and, and do that to it and you're going to end up with a more subtle nuance in doing so. Yeah, so it's great that Media Bay is part of Nuendo, you know, it built into the infrastructure like everything else in Nuendo, you have a database for sound effects that's searchable across the network for everyone to use. It's a very powerful tool. I do like to think of the mix as a sculpture and all my team will have the entire mix in the box, whatever bit they're working on. And this allows me to grow a mix from beginning to end and not think to myself, okay, there's going to be a point in time later when we all meet at a mix stage and mix it. And having it as part of the editorial process to be able to demonstrate to my team where we're heading and what's important and what isn't. Everything you need to do a film is in Nuendo. And so for me, it's fantastic because I work all around the world and I may be in different places. I'm, I will probably have three different films on my laptop at any one time. And it's just amazing to be able to pop that open, put some headphones on and start addressing mix issues or sound design issues or whatever as I go. And then take that into a mix stage in Hollywood, pop it open and play the Atmos version of it. I do remember being surprised when I was in Los Angeles first showing people I was working with that, you know, on my laptop I would have 1400 tracks all playing audio all at once with all the complex mixing going on and live plugins and it would all be playing out of my laptop and they'd say, okay, so you've pre-mixed loads of it and I'd be like, no, no, this is all, you know, the individual tracks with the individual sound effects and a lot of people don't really know quite how powerful Nuendo can be. So with my business owner hat on, I do think that, you know, Nuendo is a good choice because you're not, unlike some other systems, forced into buying a whole hardware architecture system. You know, you have a bit of software and it will work and it will work incredibly well on a reasonably powerful laptop, you know, let alone a, a studio machine. In Nuendo 13, the workflow with Dialog is taking a huge uplift because now you have the ADR facility to literally change the script. Anyone in the room can change the words that appear on the screen for the actor just via a web browser. And then obviously, you know, there's the dialogue cleanup tools and tonal match so that you don't have to have 20 years of experience knowing exactly which EQ tone is slightly too bright. You can just push a button and get that done. AI is obviously 
a, you know, a huge thing that's, that's coming towards us all and is now implemented in Nuendo in cleaning up dialogue noise. I feel that I trust Nuendo having looking at previous software versions to keep abreast of the changes that are coming and to, you know, to divert their resources to solving the challenges as they come. So, you know, I expect to be ahead of the pack with industry trends. It's fantastic.